Tonight we're going behind the scenes to see how the people who run elections make sure that your vote is going to count. All across North Carolina, election officials are running tests right now to verify that everything is working ahead of the primary next month. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh to show us. And Michael, this is a lot like watching paint dry, huh? <laughs> Well, once your ballot is out of your hands, it is up to the people here to ensure that the ballots are actually counted correctly. And by showing us this process, they're also ho hoping to combat some of the disinformation that's out there. Whether they read them by the thousands or one at a time. The results have to be 100% accurate. Machines like these across North Carolina are undergoing tests ahead of the May primary election. The process works. Um, it's proven. Wake County election officials showed us what's known as logic and accuracy testing. Basically, making sure the results the machines produce match the hand count. A bipartisan group watches over the process. It's not always fun. It's not always exciting what we do, but it has to be right no matter what we do. The tabulators that go to voting sites across the county also get the security seal to ensure no one tampers with them. Ballots are stored in this secure area until they're ready for the voters. After 23 years of working in elections, Gary Sims says combating misinformation has become like a new job. It's always been out there, but not to this scale. With how quickly misinformation spreads on social media, he says it's a key responsibility of his to get out in front of it. And people are getting that information from inaccurate sources and absolutely calls every single day. Harassing us is not going to do anything because we have to operate within the laws here in North Carolina. Later this month, election officials statewide will also take part in a mock election where they simulate uploading the results like they do on election night. They say it's basically like a stress test to make sure that the system can handle the large amount of data that's going to come in all at one time. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. Necessary work indeed, Michael. Thank you.